step right up and get your ticket to another reality. Both Google and Samsung are selling portable VR headsets that are similar in many ways, but you need to choose. Get one, get any, and how are these different than other types of VR? Unlike Oculus Rift or PlayStation VR or Vive, you can't walk around with Gear VR or Daydream. These are headsets that you put your phone in and you look around, but both are better than cheaper Google Cardboard type options. Google Daydream costs $80, but you also need a Google Pixel or a Pixel XL phone. Other phones are going to work too, but expect future phones to be a better bet than current ones. Hopefully more will work because it's easy to use. Just drop your phone in and it instantly connects, no plugs. Daydream also comes with its own excellent remote control that's like a magic wand and can point at things in VR and play games. Daydream runs Android apps like YouTube and Street View, and it connects to Google Play, but there aren't many other apps yet. Daydream feels soft and cuddly, but its straps and fit didn't work on my face all the time, and it didn't always block out light, and the VR effects sometimes look distorted. Samsung Gear VR costs around $100, but you need one of Samsung's Galaxy or Note phones. Obviously, you can count out the Note 7. It fit my head a bit better, but its bigger, bulkier design might not be for everyone. But it has hundreds of apps, all of which run via an Oculus Store app that's on the device. Games, videos, and plenty of great experiences are there to try but it doesn't tap into core Google apps like Daydream does. But it also has more awkward controls. An on-headset touchpad interacts with apps, or you can pair a separate Bluetooth game controller, but that doesn't come in the box. Daydream's remote is a lot better. Gear VR requires plugging in your phone, too, via micro USB, which is nowhere near as effortless as Daydream. Sadly, both Daydream and Gear VR are not cross-compatible. And if you like Google Cardboard compatible VR apps like you might find on your iPhone or Android, and there are tons of those, you're not going to be able to play them on Gear VR, and they don't really work on Daydream yet, but they should, eventually. Daydream might have longer legs, but right now, Gear VR is the better experience.